when you are self-aware of yourself and also the people around you, there you can also pick your best support group. Most of people who are watching my channel is around 15 years old to 30. Let's assume that you speak to yourself in that age, 15 to 30, and watching this video. What advice you will give to them for their life, for their relationship, for their personal life, and in general to motivate them to keep going on? 15 to 30, you say? Yes. Yeah, so uh, that's really like a youth, age of a youth. I think if I were to reflect on my own life, I think I started my uh, journey of self-awareness maybe a little bit late but I, I don't want to change anything of the past but that's my one uh, thing that I would say maybe I could have maybe done some psychological tests for myself and strength finder or one of those tests out there to say what, am, what kind of person I am because you know if I knew earlier it might have helped me maybe develop right but I think I'm a spiritual person. I believe God has a plan for everyone. Time, yes. you can't you can't change that, so you accept it and move on. But if I were to encourage a 15 to 30 year old person, most important thing is self awareness. Most important thing is self awareness. When you are self aware of yourself and also the people around you, there you can also pick your best support group, your better friends. You can help manage your your family. This family is not easy. Sometimes family is not easy to deal with. But if you are self-aware, you are able to say, okay, you know, maybe uh, uncle or auntie, you know, I, I really need to talk to you. I don't think I, I'm not comfortable, you know. This is why I'm not comfortable. But, you know, if you're not self-aware and confident to be able to say that, it's very, then you drags on the problem. So for me, start your journey of self-awareness earlier. Do a, a, any of the strength finder tests. Do it once every two, three years. It's not that expensive. If you can find a coach, if you can, mentor, go and find a mentor. Whether it's an older friend in church, whether it's a friend at work, it doesn't matter. A mentor to me is a friend who has more experience and willing to have coffee with you because they say, wow, this young person is so, you know, passionate, so energetic, I love it, you know. And for a mentor, don't don't think that they don't benefit from it. They benefit from it too, they, because they're talking to someone younger. They feel, wow, I, I feel like I'm, you are like me. Sometimes mentors will say, you remind me of me when I was younger because yes. they try to get a good energy also. So I have very good mentors in my life. So first, self-awareness, second, find the mentors. And I think thirdly, to be honest, from an earlier age, if you can, and this is not always possible, select your best possible uh, support system, friends, family. Try to be a bit more selective <laughs> of who you you be. But I understand that sometimes we have to make mistakes and then yeah. we learn from mistakes. There's nothing wrong with that. But I think if you are more aware about that, then uh, knowing who actually is your true friend <laughs> rather than someone who is just a fair weather friend, earlier is actually better and that's that's how i would say but the self-awareness comes from positive psychology love yourself i tell you a lot of young people need to love themselves love yourself in a meaning to say look in the mirror and say wow i see you right yeah. because if you don't do that you go outside to find love yeah. it can be very pain painful if you can find it in, in yourself to appreciate yourself a bit more it helps because people will say, oh, okay, I, I, I see, I see that. Sometimes people take advantage of those who don't love themselves, you know what I mean? Yes. So, yes. I think it's important to know that. Oh my God, my heart is still like, you know, emotional, it's still <laughs> going on right now. I appreciate yeah. you though, I do appreciate you. So, you are, you are, you are bringing up an uh, emotional side on me because uh, hearing your story, I can only imagine. A very similar story to me and I also like to do charity work um, we actually teach music at the uh, Patapes girls home uh, yeah. which is basically the halfway home for young girls and we teach them to songwrite you know so yeah. and imagine this they are all 16 year old 70 year old and they are yeah. writing songs about their par family about them, their lives about their dreams so I'm totally in line with you. You're about doing good work while also doing your business. And I really appreciate you sharing too. Because this podcast is definitely not a one-way street. I'm, I'm, I'm receiving a lot of inspiration from you. So I want to I I thank you deeply yeah. for this. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I also want to tell you that the same, uh, Danny. Every guest who come to my show, like with your spirit, it really brings me a lot of support and love and uh, motivate to continue doing because 
I realized that yes, we may not do at the same industry, but every industry guest come to my channel that show me about how similar they are with me about their heart, their soul, and their spirit. Yeah, the way they contribute may different. You go through music, I go through education, but at the same time, I can see that we just want to make the world a better place. I always tell to young leader as well. I still believe in good people. They still exist. You just have to keep. Go and connect with them, and find them, and keep the cycle tight. I mean, we can't control if other side of the story people want to do whatever they want, right? But at this side of story, if if our heart still go with it, and we still support one of each other, like like you support me by come to to my channel, and and thanks for that, and uh, of course I wish you healthy. I wish you continue this spirit. You know, I. We we'll see you in the person for sure after this show. This Sunday I will come. I will bring my daughter to listen to the yeah. young music. Let's continue do this good work together. And uh, please don't let this fire because I love this fire about you. You know, it's so rare to meet someone like you inspiring me back to be a better leader, better woman for the world, better interview for the next podcast. Um, Thank you very I much. Appreciate you and, and, yes, I love this conversation so much, Danny and. And guys, if you love everything. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will come back with you with another episode and another amazing guest. Bye.